the Superhero in the Making project began with our idea of trying to create a really solid collaborative project. Well, it's basically you make a comic with like Comic Life and program, they can make comics easy. We had to make our comic character about, or they had to have a superpower that had to do with physics. And like the whole project was just basically about like incorporating fun ways to like teach younger kids about um, like electricity and physics concepts and everything. The main thing was humanities because you have to, to make a comic book you have to have a good story. To make a good story you have to have good plot structure and character development. But uh, the very beginning comes from the physics of it. They have to figure out what their physics superpower and that kind of leads the story. I love bunnies. Bunnies are cool. So we decided to make our superhero a bunny. <laughs> And he has electric shock that um, he has like a capacitor in him that stores up electricity and shoots it out. So our his power was electricity. We would teach the elements of fiction in the humanities section, teaching elements of fiction, teaching character development, and teaching plot structure as well. Our character DJ is a DJ, and he has a boombox that like hurts people's ears really bad, and then he gets in a fight with Shockwave, the villain. And then the, the villain has gloves that every time he slaps somebody, it'll shock them. We started testing out drawings, and then we typed it up, and then we got it approved, and then we started putting it on Comic Life. We did these project check-ins where we got our students working. They had task lists. They knew what they were working on. And we'd call it each group, Diana and I. Diana would check through every part of the story. She'd check it for the grammar, is it following the plot. I would check them at, at regular intervals on the physics and we'd have sit down one-on-one -on -one meetings with them and tell them what they need to do or if they're falling behind. And those were so valuable because we were able to sit down with the group and explain them exactly what they needed to do for the next step of their comic. I think I was really shocked at the wide range of story plots that we had because there were some that were very much kid friendly. You know, they had bunnies and the mad scientist, and there were some that were teenage level to adult level where they had, you know, this Russian army, you know, and the man was like in this nuclear explosion and takes it in, and you know, very, very real, very graphic um, visuals in his comic book, also. The program's really fun and everything. It's pretty simple to use, it gives you different shapes that you can drag on the screen, how many boxes you want. You just put the picture in and select a box, and you can put all the typing in and little speech bubbles and everything. It's pretty fun to use. We also had a comic book exhibition where the students had to not only be able to explain their superpower, but also be able to show it with a tiny explanation and a tiny hands-on display. Al Solis did a comic superhero project, and I decided to expand it, and I wanted to work with Diana. So we decided to take something that was already there and just expand it and bring it into humanities and, and have the students write stories and make a big exhibition out of it. For more information, visit hitechhigh.org.